Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. Building mega menus is pretty similar to building page content with the BE Builder. The main difference is that after creating a mega menu, it has to be assigned to the right menu item what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. Let's start from creating a new template. Just like in case of creating new header, footer or any other template, you have to add new template. In the first step, you will see the pop-up where you have to select the type of the template you would like to create. Let's select the mega menu then and let's name our template maybe mega menu number one. As soon as we click create template button we will be taken to the B builder. Just like in case of building any page template we have the left bar with all settings and options but on the right we have frame for our mega menu content. If you are not familiar with the Bee Builder yet, in the right top corner you will find the link to video about the Bee Builder. There are two main differences between the mega menu builder and content building. Firstly, instead of page options, we have mega menu options where we have only one option to switch between the type of the mega menu, full width, grid, and custom. The second difference is that for the mega menu we've added one new element, the menu. So you can put regular menu items in the mega menu which gives you really great opportunities. Let's create a mega menu similar to the one we've recently made for the furniture store pre-built website. It's gonna to be really similar uh, to the one you actually see on my screen but for the beds menu item as I already removed the mega menu for that menu item. Okay, so I will start from creating a section uh, and that section I'm gonna put two wraps. The left one will be two fifth but the right one is gonna be three fifth. As I want my mega menu to be the same width as the rest of mega menu items, I have to go to the menu options and switch from the full width to custom width. And I want my mega menu to be 720 pixels and I would like my mega menu to be positioned to left. That's great. Let's populate the wraps with uh, the elements. For the left wrap, I will use the menu item. The menu I would like to display would be bed subcategories and uh, also I would like to set the decoration icon as that small icon uh, that appears uh, just next to the menu item. Uh, it's right open. Okay, that's great. Let's go now to the style tab and let's set some styles for the menu item. So uh, the first thing I would like to set is going to be padding. The top will be 15 and the bottom, let's say 15 pixels as well. And the right and left has to be just zero. Okay. The next thing is the border style. I would like it to be solid uh, and I want it to be one pixels for the bottom only as I want to split my menu items. Okay, uh, the next one is gonna be the color for... I've already prepared this color. It's kind of the blue or green something like that and also I would like to set the border color it's underneath the menu item color okay looks much better now 
The next thing I would like to set is the color for the decoration icon. I also prepared this color already and it's gonna to be that one. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, just one more thing. I forgot to set the icon size. I would like it to be 15 pixels. Great. There is actually one more thing I forgot to do. As you probably remember when you hover over the many items, uh, each many item and the decoration icon uh, changes its color on hover. And I would like to set it up as well. So uh, for the decoration icon, I have to switch to the hover tab and set the color. And the same I have to do for the menu item. Okay, let's set the yellow core. Okay, let's move to the right bar. Uh, sorry, to the right wrap. As I want, uh, the first thing I want to do is set the background color for the right wrap. So in the advanced background position, I will set the background color. Looks better now, but as you can see, uh, now the wrap on the left is different uh, high than the wrap on the right side and to have them both exactly the same high I need to go the settings of the section where both wraps are and in the advanced positioning tab I need to stretch uh, both wraps inside that section that's great you can see that now the menu on the left and the wrap on the right are exactly the same high. Let's now populate the right wrap with the content. So the first element I'm gonna add is the heading. Uh, it's gonna be H6. And also I would like to change its color to that one. Okay, let's maybe set the typography, maybe 14, 15 pixels should be fine and let's say line height to maybe 18. Okay, the next element is gonna be the column text. Okay, let's set the text, all right. Um, maybe we should set uh, some styles for that text as well. So in the advanced, sorry, in the style tab, I'm gonna set uh, the color to the dark blue. And also I have to set the uh, typography. Let's maybe set it the size to be 20 and the line height to 26 and also maybe let's change the font wave to a bolder font the next element is going to be the column text as well with some lorem lipsum text and the last one is gonna be the column text as well but this time with price Okay, we've got it. Before adding an image to the right wrap, let's style uh, our content in the right wrap a bit. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna style is set the color for our price. We've just added and also let's set some typography. I think that 16 pixels should be okay and 26 pixels for the line high and font wave to be 500. Let's set some spacing for the elements in right wrap. Uh, for our heading in the advanced spacing tab, I would like to set 20 pixels for the bottom margin. For the column text, I would like the bottom to be zero and the third column text, I want to have 20 pixels of margin 
for the bottom and the last one I want to have zero. We can move now to adding the image that goes beyond the uh, wraps, the right wrap and the section, just like you can see uh, on the bare furniture example. Okay, so uh, I have to find the image element first and add it. Okay, let's set the image. All right, that's my sofa. As I want my image to be exactly the same width as the rest of the uh, images and the mega menu, I have to change the width to the custom one. Each image is 340 pixels. So, and this is the size I'm gonna use right now. And the other thing I have to do is go to the positioning tab, change, the position for that image to absolute and now I can control its position exactly the way I want so I want it to be 20 pixels from the bottom and minus 25% from the right side that's great it's exactly what I wanted to achieve before I will go to assigning this mega menu to the menu item I would like to add some spacing for both wraps so for the left wrap in the advanced spacing tab I would like to add 20 pixels for the top 10% for the right 20 pixels for the bottom and 10% for the left and for the right wrap and same spacing tab I will add 40 pixels for top uh, 40 pixels for the bottom and 5% for the left okay I think that we're ready to assign this mega menu to the beds uh, menu item position so the first thing we have to do is update so we can save that mega menu and now we have to go back to the WordPress and in appearance menu section we have to select the menu that we've set for our header in my case it's categories menu and now for the bets position menu I have the select where I can select the mega menus and here I'm gonna set the mega menu one we've already created and save that menu if we will go back to the page and refresh that page as soon as you hover over the bed's position you will see that the menu mega menu we've just created appears on hover this is exactly what we wanted to do uh, I can see that there is a couple of differences between the other menu items because we forgot to set the border radius uh, for the mega menu what we can do right now so let's go back to our mega menu and in the advanced border tab of the left wrap I will need to set 16 pixels for the last um, option for the border radius and the same thing I have to do for the right wrap but this time it's gonna be for this value as you can see and the wrap has those dashed lines and so the bottom right corner as right now uh, has this border radius of 16 pixels and if you click on the left wrap you will see the same one for the bottom left corner let's save the changes for our mega menu and let's go back to the page uh, to the front page to see how it looks like now uh, okay I can see that I forgot about one more thing uh, I forgot that the section by default has a white background and I want just the left wrap to be a white so um, what I have to do is go to the advanced 
background tab of the left wrap and here I will set the white background and now I need to go to the settings of the section and in advanced background tab I have to set this background to transparent so I will change the opacity to zero and let's save our uh, mega menu now and refresh the page as you can see the mega menu we've just created is exactly the same as the rest hope you like this tutorial and creating any kind of the mega menu will be child's play from now on that is all for this video thanks for watching and remember to like subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video if you have more questions please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com